Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing the Intel Arc A770 16GB GPU in Remnant 2, an Unreal Engine 5 title that's really hard to run. So this one is the limited edition founders or reference card from Intel. You can see it right there glowing with that beautiful RGB. You can also see all of the GPU specs right here in Tech Power Up's GPU Z resizable bar is also enabled. It says that it has five. 512 shaders but it has 4000 plus shading units this is just the execution unit count and over on the left we're pairing it with a ryzen 7 5800x 3d which yes is an amd cpu and no it does not matter an intel cpu will perform exactly the same as long as it doesn't bottleneck the a770 and finally we're using 32 gigabytes of ddr4 3600 megahertz cl14 ram in dual channel let's get into the game now shall we okay first First up, let's go over the settings. I'm playing at 1080p resolution with unlocked frame rate, of course, no motion blur, and the ultra graphics preset. This is probably a bad idea, but I want to start at ultra and 1080p. Okay, no upscalers either, and uh, well, that's about it, right? Like, there's no <gasps> camera bob. We don't want that. No bobs in this channel, my friends. <laughs> oh no. Oh, what is what is that? What what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the, the top of the screen, guys. It is completely broken. And the left of the screen as well. Like, what the hell is that? No way! <laughs> and it's getting 30 FPS with drops at 1080p with the ARC A770. I mean, I'm not gonna jump into any conclusions. I've heard that this... Oh my god, so many graphical issues. I've heard that this game doesn't run well whatsoever. It's not well optimized. So, yeah, getting 30 FPS is kind of expected, I guess. But of course, the Intel GPUs usually take a little bit longer in terms of uh, driver optimizations and stuff like that to achieve their full potential. Potential, so uh, that could be what we're seeing yeah, here. Sure. Of course, I will need to test know. other GPUs to jump into any optimization conclusions like here. Yeah, those bugs really are nice. very, very <laughs> annoying, obviously. And they actually said that the ARC A750 has some graphical bugs. As you can see right here, they have identified the issue with ARC A750 cards. They don't mention the A770, but apparently it's exactly the same thing. You know, so um, all we need to do is select the beta ARC A750 thingy over here. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So go over here, properties, betas and select this one right there here we go it's updating it's a one gigabyte file yeah. all right guys we're back like here after cool. applying the update oh the settings God. are exactly the same it's and as you can see there are no graphical <laughs> bugs anymore which is quite <laughs> nice so we can that finally start too, counting so. our fps yeah, and making a good benchmark this time okay video. let's go <laughs> now right away i can tell you that it's not you looking that like good a... like uh... i can see a lot of pixelation if you look at yeah, the guy's sure. face you know oh, there's a lot of noise around it and there's a lot of noise in the vegetation as well that's really weird because the upscalers <laughs> are turned off you know so it should be looking like native resolution but it isn't really <laughs> it's looking like you're using some fsr for example on quality or even like balanced or something it's really weird anyway let's keep on going here it drops into the 20s as you can see very often so it's not a great experience on ultra settings honestly and you shouldn't really play on ultra settings now we do have some xcss here in this game which is set to performance by default oh boy okay let's try ultra quality first and uh, take a look at the vegetation be behind us again um all right that's much better Okay, so this game was clearly made to run with upscalers. Because we were dropping into the low 20s here, or like mid 20s at least, and now it's not even dropping from like the mid 30s. This is way better now. Usually, ultra quality XCSS doesn't really make that much of a difference because it's not a huge drop off in resolution, you know? Um, but here it does. What the Over heck, here. dude? This is really weird. Okay, now about that noise, it is way more apparent. The, the image is much softer right now. 
again, kind of not like the normal XCSS implementation, which actually makes things sharper, usually. All right, of course, in these closed out areas, you can get way more FPS. That's completely normal in games. I'm not really sure where to test this game. Like that initial part with all of the vegetation was pretty interesting. I mean, we haven't really seen any intensive scenarios yet aside from the vegetation, but if you locked it to 30 FPS, it would be a console-like experience, maybe. I've seen some stuttering issues in the cutscene, the initial cutscene, but right now while playing the game, it's pretty dang smooth in terms of the frame time graph. Uh, ooh. Yep, I'm shooting it. Oh, one shot does it. Okay, well, come on. I just, I just talked about the stuttering being non-existent and we got a little bit of a stutter there. <laughs> oh boy, a little bit of a drop once again. Yeah, you definitely need to lock the FPS, otherwise it's going to be really inconsistent. But it's playable, as long as you use upscalers. That's a bit of a shame, honestly. <laughs> that means that more and more games will come out uh, where you need upscalers to make them playable. And I don't like to see that. I'd much rather have native resolution or like a well-optimized title, right? Not this. But hey, at least it's playable again. All right, guys, we're back to 1080p native resolution with no upscaler here, but now with the high settings preset. And this is what the game recommended for the ARC A770, high settings with some upscaler enabled as well. Um, but yeah, at native res, apparently we're getting really similar FPS to what we saw at ultra settings and XCSS on ultra quality as well. So I guess you can expect like 35 plus FPS most of the time especially in this beginning part of the game with ton of vegetation. Yeah, once again, it's not too bad. It's going to be a really similar experience to what we saw with ultra quality XCSS. It still looks really weird in terms of like the softness and the noise and um, there is also a bit of ghosting not sure if yeah, youtube sure. compression will allow you to see it but there is a little trail around my character here and it's quite noticeable you know so native resolution does not look very good here in this game at all Over here. I, I, I know i know i already played through this part can i just open it please <laughs> We're going to play through a little bit more of the game this time around on high settings because, you know, it's a little bit more adequate, I would say. Around here, we're back into the lower 40s, high 30s. I, th I think it's as soon as you see some vegetation on screen, and this is not like really detailed vegetation either, but it is super intensive, guys. It is really, really intensive. It's not even moving too much, and it's not too dynamic. It's kind of weird that it's so intensive. Hello there, little friend. How's it going? Hey, You're dead now. Way. You couldn't even talk to us. Is that the jack of this game, by the way? <laughs> now I feel bad. <laughs> so again, we get those almost 60 FPS average here at native 1080p with high settings. But it is not that enjoyable because it fluctuates way too much. It's not consistent at all. And again, we're not really seeing many stutters to speak of. I actually restarted the PC after I played on ultra settings, by the way, because I went to have lunch uh, and came back to test high settings now. But yeah, it is not really stuttery. You know, the, the stuttering that we saw on ultra was probably just a one off. Oh, oh, hello, Jack. It is Jack, indeed. Nice melee attack. And we pet Jack. Oh, we're petting the best. Look at that. Look at Oh, perfect stuff. Perfect stuff. Good, 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 good. I'm not sure if I should waste the ammo or just melee them. Oh, of course, the, the health doesn't regenerate, so we might as well just do this. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, that's that dude. That's crazy. Am I dead? No, it's, is this supposed to happen? I think so. Oh, my God. No, it's not. <laughs> what? I did I just die? No, I'm still alive somehow. Again, we're seeing a ton of stuttering issues in cutscenes for some reason, guys. Just as I saw at the beginning of the game. So maybe it has some issues rendering in the cutscenes, but when we're actually playing it, it's alright. Almost 9 gigabytes of VRAM utilization. Curious to see how like a 4060 would handle this with 8 gigabytes of VRAM. Okay, I just skipped this thing, guys, and uh, I really, really want to try it out with some XCSS on ultra quality here. All right, and hopefully we'll get closer to 60 FPS. Yeah, that is the case. Look at that. It still drops, though. Let's start counting our FPS. So instead of dropping into the lower 40s, we're in the high 40s, I guess. 
Not bad. But now we're underground, there's not much vegetation. That's the thing with these linear titles, you know. To benchmark them, we either repeat the same thing over and over again, or we just progress into the story and I spoil something to you. A little bit later in some upcoming videos, I will skip cutscenes and so on. But I think I'm just gonna enjoy the game here and not care about uh, testing it in the most intensive area every single time. That would get really repetitive, right? There we go. Oh boy, Jack! I know you love me, but can you stop coming for me? Oh boy! All right. All right, this kind of feels like an SMG thingy, actually. Oh boy, it shoots really fast. Yeah. I don't want this, I don't want this. Let's pick this up, grab the rifle. Oh my God, okay, that was a huge stutter. That was terrible. Absolutely awful. Did I die? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, there we go. There we go. Left for that vibes right here, my friends. Okay, we're finally done with that part of the game. We killed the big monster and we're outside. Yeah, in a little bit of a city area. Like a settlement area, actually. There's food right there. Interesting. Ooh, that, this area is also really intensive. Nice. Finally, some vegetation for us to look at. Dropping into the low 30s, dude. That's really concerning. That means that at like 1080p high, it would definitely drop from 30 FPS without the XCSS. At 1080p Ultra with ultra quality XCSS, it would also drop in this part. Just because of this little vegetation that we're seeing, you know? Let's disable this now and let's try it with medium settings. I don't think you need to restart the game. Ooh! <laughs> See, without an upscaling at medium settings, we're getting lower in 30 frames per second. Oh my god, that is awful. Of course, XCSS Ultra Quality will solve that issue while giving you very similar results, but look at that. 31, 32. You know what? I'm gonna set it back to native and I'm gonna restart the game. I don't think it's needed because it doesn't prompt us to do it, but... Maybe it just didn't apply something properly. All right, guys, I just restarted the game. We're still playing at medium settings, and I think it's exactly the same as it was before. So restarting doesn't really do much. You don't need to restart to apply the new settings. Yeah, it's getting less FPS than at 1080p with high settings and ultra quality XCSS. And uh, over in this area, it's still dropping into the high 20s. Although I'm not really seeing 27 anymore. Yeah, maybe there is a little bit of a difference, I don't know. Yeah, may maybe one FPS, but that's margin of error stuff anyways. Jeez, at 1080p medium, this game just does not like FPS at all. <laughs> what the hell, mate? That's the ultra quality. We were standing here getting 29 FPS and now we're getting 33. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much the same as it was on high settings with XCSS ultra quality. I, I don't think anything changed basically it also looks exactly the same that is a really tiny person what oh boy that looked really weird from there it's just a child but <laughs> what the heck <laughs> kind of like ch children in um, cyberpunk 2077 i saw somebody mentioning it in a review of the game <laughs> saying that oh the, the ti these just look like tiny people they don't look like children at all Anyway, I guess we gotta try low. Is that a lower than low settings preset? No. Okay, so low settings it is. Without upscaler. I'm still restarting just to make sure because the VRAM usage was a little bit higher there at low settings for some reason. Uh, so here we go. Now it's at 6 point something gigabytes and we're getting 50 FPS. Again, we're not seeing a big improvement in frames per second compared to medium settings going down to low, but now I can clearly tell the difference in visuals for sure. Like it's very, very apparent. You can see that it's much more bland looking, but it's still dropping to the same values as medium with XCSS enabled. Like what the hell? Oh my God, dude, this thing is completely broken. So this is really terrible. I hope it's something to do with the Intel GPU, but I, I doubt it because I've seen people complaining a lot about uh, the FPS in this game. And here I was thinking I'd test this game at uh, 1440p with the RK770. Nope, 
Let's try XCSS on ultra quality and low settings and look at that. 37 is what we get with upscaler. We, we end up like 5 FPS or 6. This is so bad. Oh my god. All right. What about performance XCSS? It, it looks really bad, actually. I can see a ton of shimmering here in these bushes. Uh, I can see a ton of shimmering on myself as well. You can see a lot of aliasing, basically. It's it's really terrible looking this time. I mean, it's not completely unplayable in terms of visuals, but this is the performance I'd expect coming from something like a GTX 1050 Ti. Not this. This is why I was going to avoid buying this one, honestly, because I don't want to support these unoptimization messes. But I feel the need to make these videos for you as well, you know, so you guys are also informed and you don't buy these on optimization masses. So if you have an ARC A770, I would not buy Remnant 2. It is just, at least from what I played here, it's, it's really, really bad. Let's go back to ultra quality, which is reasonable in terms of graphics. You know what? If this is the way new games will come out in terms of optimization, I hear the story is pretty good in this one. That's also part of why I bought it. Um, but yeah, in terms of optimization, like these low settings, it's using over 8 gigabytes of VRAM as well. It's crazy. With upscaling as well, so it's not even native 1080p. It's just so stupid. The optimization in new titles is just ridiculous. Oh my god, it is dropping to 30 FPS again. Are you kidding me? I just... Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I will need to try something like a 3060 next to see if it also happens with NVIDIA GPUs. But this is completely unacceptable. 30 FPS at 1080p low settings with XESS enabled. Like, it's not even native 1080p. Oh my god, I'm just gonna stop this. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and don't buy this game with an RK770. Catch you in the next one very soon. Love you all. Bye bye